respected dear family members, my pranams to you. In India, almost in every state, once or twice in an year, we used to perform Gana Homa, which is a Vedic ritual, chanting Veda Mandra. We used to offer the coconut husk, coconut shell, and coconuts into the fire while doing the Gana Homa or Ganabadi Homa, which is ultimately meant for spiritually appeasing Lord Vigneshwara. But the science behind it appears to be very interesting as I am a person who was fortunate enough to work in pesticides and insecticides. One of the most common pesticide and insecticide used the world over is fumigation technique using sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. Everyone knows pretty well that coconut husk contains maximum content of sulfur. Once the coconut husk is dug and kept under the earth, we can get the smell of hydrogen sulfide. Highest level of sulfur is present in coconut husk. When it is burned, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide are formed, which when spread with the fumes of Ganahoma, it creates a perfect environment to cleanse the microorganism, particularly pathogenic organisms. And the fresh coconut shell, when it is burned slowly, it produces phenolic compound. And that phenolic compound, everyone knows that when it is the best bactericidal or microorganism, eliminating material. And when that also spreads through the fumes of the Ganahoma, second advantage takes place. And the third, when the coconut kernel, coconut burns, an excellent smell used to come. That contains pyrocines. The pyrocines also, one of the best bactericidal and fungicidal and pathogenic organism killing agent. All the three, sulfur dioxide, sulfur trioxide, phenols and the pyrocines when spread in your home while doing the Ganahoma, it cleans the environment, air and walls of the house perfectly free from all these microorganisms. Even German scientists has proved that the fumes coming from Ganahoma is best to eradicate mandari weevils, mandari weevils. And this has been proved in Kerala by a group of German scientists. So, other than the spiritual aspect of Ganahoma or Ganapati Homa, this purely scientific aspect also should be spread through WhatsApp to all the people of the world so that they will be utilizing it for their benefit. However, doing a Ganahoma in the temple may be having its spiritual effect, but in your home such an effect will not be available because it is done in the temple. Doing in the home gives these scientific benefits. Thank you very much. My pranam to you.